Each twist lock motor is supplied with a paper template. This allows you to determine the exact position of the holes needed to fix and install the motor. Once in line with the guidelines on the template, fix it in place with some tape. Then remove the turnout and keep to one side. Use a 0.5mm drill bit to make the holes on the two outer positions. Use a 6mm drill for the centre hole where the drive pin for the motor will fit. Now remove the template and fix your turnout in place. We are using Pico track pins in this instance. The twist lock turnout motor is designed to be quick and easily installed. No soldering, no complex wiring, just plain simple. An optional micro switch is available and this attaches to the motor in a similar way. The fixings are supplied with every motor as you can see here. This includes the anchor point motor screws and the bar used for above board mounting if required. The motor is supplied pre-wired and the red and black wires are your power supply and the green wires are your common returns. Under the baseboard using the two small brass screws Attach the mounting stubs into the two outer holes that you have prepared using a screwdriver. Now it's just a simple task to engage the two hooks of the twist lock motor into the mounting stubs. Thread the motor's drive pin through the large center hole and through the hole in the turnout's tie bar. Then twist clockwise and lock into position. Now it's time to connect the motor to your power supply. Remember, if you wish to use a micro switch for switching frog polarity or indicating lights on a mimic board, or if you just want to use it for switching lights and signals, then simply twist and lock the micro switch into position. Test the motor to make sure it works properly. It's important you use a passing contact switch to operate the solenoid motor. The Pico PL26 switch is the best choice. Never use an on-off switch or you will damage the motor beyond repair. Now returning to the top side of the board, it is obvious that there is an excessive amount of pin protruding above the rails. Mark where the pin needs to be cut using a marker pen. Remove the motor and remove the excess metal. Here we're going to be using a cutting disc. Whatever you do, make sure you wear eye protection. And here you are, a fully working turnout with smooth running loco. It's really easy to install, the Pico Electric's twist lock turnout motor, and it gives you years of reliability and faithful service.